Like, even if the game is for you, like, people want to see the boundaries pushed in terms of graphics and whatnot. Yeah, when you're revealing a new console, you really need stuff that shows off what your new console can do. And there was plenty of that. There was a lot of very good-looking games. At yeah, this. there was, yeah. But There's I another, do not uh, know why... I do not get the inclusion of this. Like, I get that you want to support the indie guys. Like, that's cool. That's cool. Go, go ahead and do that. Everybody's doing that right now, and it's awesome. And I appreciate that, but... This is to come. This is when you bring out your big guns. Yeah, really. Because then they have like an exclusivity deal with Sony, so I guess that's kind of the reason why. But at the same time, it's like a uh, like a, a majority oh of people are watching God, this. I am barely making any progress at all. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, like a majority of people were just not, like, pleased by this at all. I remember looking at the chat at the time, like, the English uh, live stream event, and, like, oh, like, nobody was really interested whatsoever. It's a very niche game, so I don't know. Yeah, and, and you know, if you are interested, if you're interested in something like that, more power to you. It's not for me. It's not, yeah, I it's think not this was either. the wrong way to reveal it, but I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and say this shouldn't exist. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'll say that too because I mean it's very teen angsty. I mean, there's a time in my life where I would have liked, and not not really, I wouldn't look really like this in general, but like just the whole vibe of the whole teen angsty thing. And maybe at one point in my life I would like it, but yeah, when you're young, just like yeah, yeah, but like it's it's definitely made for like some people, and if they if they like it, then that that's good. But like I think I'm, at this like certain event, like people don't want to see like things like that in general. Like they they want to like really see things that push the boundaries. Like they're they're watching a new next gen like console reveal, so they're kind of expecting things that kind of push the, the boundaries. Like I said before, I don't know. I I think I was like, <laughs> like the whole time I was watching it, I was like I'm just watching just a trailer for like some. Like animated like series or something. It just it felt it didn't even feel like a game. Yeah, it didn't. That was like one of the main things. It just felt like some like animated series or something. I was like really confused. And I I, I browsed the creator's Twitter and this person is just as left wing as you th would think a Kotaku writer would be. Yeah, I mean I, I would expect that much honestly from the the. The general vibe of the, uh, the trailer I saw. It's not really surprising at this point. I just kind of ignore stuff like that. I mean, it's not it's not for me at all, so I just kind of ignore it. Yeah, this is the kind of person that gets pissed at uh, J.K. Rowling for saying that biological men and biological women are fundamentally different. That, 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 is, that, is that really radical to say at this point, I guess? According I guess to that, the far left, yeah. It, the the far left obvious. intersectional fem feminist types, yeah, it, it very much is. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it is 2020, so what do you expect at this point? <laughs> so that's the kind of person that is making this game, so... I'm sure it has an audience. I am not it. It's it's very niche. Like that type of thing is very niche at this point. Yeah. There's some audience out there, but you have to really look for it. But other than that, there was um some of the other big. I think some of the other big ones. There's there's a new Sackboy or a new uh, Little Big Planet game. Yeah, I forgot that about that. Really cool. I am excited for that because I like Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet one and two are awesome. Yeah. Because like the way the game looks, it looks different from the other games in the series. It's like more like kind of changes like the perspective and whatnot. This looks to Little Big Planet what um, uh, Super Mario 3D Land was to Mario on the Wii U. Yeah, that's what it looks like, and I'm Kinda, fine yeah. with that. Um, because Little Big Planet's awesome, and I want more of that. I want we'll play through Little Big Planet two at some point, and it'll be fun. Is it only on the PS3? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Well, the game looks pretty cool, honestly. And I, I, I guess it's supposed to be like a spinoff. 
which I can I can kind of gather. But either way, it looks pretty good. My big game I get when it uh, launches. Yeah, I hope it's good. Yeah. Little Big Planet one and two were such creative fun. I assume that uh, I assume this game's going to be kind of similar in that you can like create your own shit and whatnot, my like characters and maps and whatnot. Yeah, I hope it's got that creative element because that's kind of what helped Little Big Planet have such a long shelf life. Is uh, all the different like people went nuts creating games for that. Yeah, like, that was kind of one of the drawing things for the whole series in general. So, like, I, I would assume it's, it's going to be back in full force in this game, but we'll have to see. I hope so, anyway. Sackboy, what else? Was, uh, there, was, there was another, um, there was Odd, new Oddworld game. I never actually played the, the Oddworld series, but I, I, I think it's a pretty big deal that, that, that there's a new Oddworld game. Yeah, that out. was a big series. Like on the PS1, I, I really do want to play the series at some point, but I, I know it's a pretty revered, like, niche series. On, oh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of the other games. Um, Rush and Clank, we talked about that. So there's a bunch of IPs like I'm trying to like a lot of new IPs. I filled the they're like pretty much filler the whole time. A lot of the bigger announcements were at the end, like Demon Souls and RE8 and Horizon were at the end. And they, they yeah one of the yeah, one of the biggest fucking twists is that they didn't reveal the, the price, which I'm actually at this point I'm not really surprised by because I guess they don't like Microsoft and uh, Sony are kind of like hesitant hesitant on like revealing the um. The price before one another. They're kind of seeing like who who does it first. Like who's going to reveal the price first, and then they will change our minds at the last second. Yeah, that has me a little bit worried about the potential price of these things. Yeah, I think I think Microsoft's going to be the one to change, like to have the lower price. I think Sony's going to have the higher price because in the past, obviously the PS3 it was like what five ninety nine at the time of the original release or something like that. So, like, I know the hardware definitely is going to be kind of demanding, so I would assume it's going to be a really high price. I mean, like, Microsoft has, like, their, uh, the Xbox Series... Uh, the Xbox um, Series X is going to have, like, a higher... Uh, higher demanding hardware. Like, like, better hardware, I should say. In terms of, like, what it can do. But at the same time, I think it's going to be a, a lesser price. Yeah. For, like, the, each individual console. I think they'll take a. I think I think they'll afford to. Um, I think they'll take a loss with each one sold, but I think a Sony will be more, and that's what they're kind of banking on. Yeah, uh, I uh, play Asia listed it for like what seven hundred or something. Like seven hundred, yeah. But the the thing about that is that the console is not available anywhere yet. And there's no like. There's no like. Comparative price whatsoever, even like for like a uh, new Xbox or anything. So, any listing that you find, uh, probably. I mean. I'd be suspicious of any listing you find. Yeah. It could be really anything at this point. I think it's gonna be around like, like six, uh, six hundred, seven hundred, maybe. A PS Five specifically. It's hard to say because it's it's a pretty big jump in like hardware. I would. Like, like compared to like the the PS3, to the PS4. Yeah, it is. I think it's a bigger jump from it's a it's a bigger jump from the PS4 to the PS5. I would yeah, say it seems bigger. like it. And we're, we're getting we're getting better. We're getting beyond mechanical hard drives at this point too, which is nice. Getting, yeah, SSDs are really expensive. I mean, like like du like double the price of what the comparative to like what like the gigabytes are, or whatever like 
uh, storage are using. Because uh, I think the, I think the base PS5 was like oh, what was it? It was like it was like 800 something gigabytes. I think SSD. It, it was like pretty up there. I, I I know for sure that the the, the Xbox was like a, like a terabyte SSD. Yeah, the, the, I mean that's a really expensive for like a hard like a storage device. Yeah, the, it's got like a pro, proprietary uh, as a kind of SSD for the PlayStation. Yeah, I don't remember what they're calling it, but it's got its own thing. It's supposed that supposedly it loads faster than anything else on the market. That's what they're claiming. I don't know though. Yeah. Uh, I think the limited space has more to do with the sheer cost of producing the thing than anything else. For real. I think even for Microsoft, too. Got one. So what do you think of the look of the PlayStation 5? I mean, they showed off the look at the very end. It looks... Honestly, I, I actually kind of like the look of the uh, PS5. I, I like the, like, uh, the, like, pointy, like, top of it and everything. Yeah, I think it I, looks I just, like art, honestly. Yeah, it looks it looks really cool. I, I just wish there... I hope there was, like, a variant, like, a black variant. Like, I, I like black uh, colored <laughs> consoles in general. I got... I don't know, just for, like, aesthetic reasons, really. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. But, like, uh, I mean, like, overall, it just looks really cool. I, I just... I wonder how it's gonna, like, uh, work vertically. If you wanna, like, have it, like, sit down on the ground. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I hope there's a stand. And obviously, oh, yeah, one, the, the other big thing is that there's going to be two variants, like one digital and only one uh, that, can, that can play discs. And obviously, I only, only get the one that plays discs. I, I'm still one of those guys who likes getting physical discs. I mean, obviously, you too. And yeah, I'm a physical people. disc kind of guy. Yeah. I still like having the, yeah. I'm definitely going to get the disc version. I heard rumors that they're going to be the same price too. I doubt that. I'm going to guess uh, that the physical I, I, version I will be too. about fifty dollars more. It's got to be yeah. The, the extra hardware, just the fact that there's going to be like a, a UHD like player in general is just going to draw the price up. Yeah, it's definitely going to draw the price up in general because you can, I mean if you have that player in, in there, you're going to be able to play any UHD like Blu-ray. So it's like, why would it not be more money? Yeah, well, the internet's doing its internet thing and relentlessly photoshopping the PlayStation Five because that's what it does. Yeah, like even the day of the announcement, people were saying like, "Oh, the the, the new design leaked and look," and then the new design was like the like it looked like the PS4 Pro pretty, pretty much. I was like, "Oh, that definitely is not true." Yeah, and <laughs> people is false. are freaking out. People were freaking out because of the look of the dev kit and everyone went it's not gonna look like the dev kit it never does it never and then, does it. then they freak out when in the final design look completely different from the dev kit and it's like, like the, <laughs> the dev kit never looks like the original con like the, the real console because like the original uh, the dev kit for the gamecube look is like a huge box like when it was called the dolphin at the time it's just it's, it's huge fucking box like the dev kit never looks like how the final product looks like, ever. Obviously, the dev kit for the PS5 was, like, this really alien-looking device, and obviously that's not not what, not what it's going to look like at all. Oh, oh, yes, I forgot about this gun. Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember that gun, too. But, like, the internet's never going to be happy with how a new console looks like. 
The PlayStation 3, they said it looked like a grill. The PlayStation 4, they said it looked like an eraser. The Xbox One, they said it looked like a VCR. Yeah, I mean, nobody's ever really truly happy. You can't really please anyone, so might as well just go for what you believe in. Yeah. At that point. I mean, honestly, like, every every design looks good. I mean, it's not like it's horrible or horrific looking. <laughs> I mean, it, it takes a lot for, like, a unanimous... The, the, the audience to, like, unanimously, unanimously say, like, oh, this looks awful or... Whatever. Because from what I've seen about the PS5 announcement, like, a lot of the people like, like the design, so... Yeah. I'm fine with it. Like, it doesn't bother me. I've heard some people say, oh, it's so ugly. I'm like, you know what? You're going to buy it anyway, and then you're going to play Ratchet and Clank, and it's going to be fun, and you're not going to give a shit. Yeah, really. <laughs> like, the only reason why they don't like it is because it looks different. Like, people just don't, like, change at first, and then it just, it just grows on them. And that's definitely how it is for the design. Like, some of the games they revealed as well. Like RE, RE8, obviously. <laughs> but. And people will grow on it. It's like, it's just how it is with everything. Like, change is kind of hard to take at first, but, like, people realize that it's not really that big of a deal. But just, I guess overall from the event, I get, like, it's, it's definitely better than Xbox's, because Xbox kind of, like, blunt, like, bungled their chance to show off gameplay that really it's like stood out and it's game changing and yeah the, there were more games like they had some sneakers too but overall there were more games at sony's event that i was interested in yeah definitely yeah ain't that the truth again like definitely in terms of exclusives yeah i'm and, sure and just, microsoft like, will have good exclu- they need to show off halo like, that comes out later this year. We haven't seen anything but two trailers of it and no gameplay. That's weird. Because, like, because gameplay, like, really seals the deal for a lot of people. I mean, obviously, including me and you and my... a lot of other people. Like, just, like, if... Like, we want to see the game in action because that kind of is a reason why we're buying these <laughs> consoles in the first place. Yeah, I'm over CGI trailers, bro. Like, I really Stupid. am. It's like, I want to see what I'm, I'm going to buy this console for, like, a certain reason. Like, you better show like, what I can, like, what I can do and everything. Like, I just want to see the product I'm going to buy in, in action. And not just some pre-rendered bullshit or whatever, whatever it may be. Yeah. I guess, I mean, like, Microsoft got what they got coming to them, because a lot of people kind of called them out on... Because they titled the whole thing with, like, it was a gameplay reveal and everything like that. Obviously it wasn't. Sony also, for the most part... showed off uh, games that graphically just look better. Yeah. And and I think a part of that is uh, Microsoft is doing that big cross-platform thing where for the first few year every Xbox every Xbox uh, 360 or Xbox One game will also be on the Series X. They're really pushing for like backwards compatibility too, which I'm all for. Backwards compatibility yeah. is awesome. Give me backwards compatibility. Is there like a floor down there? I don't fucking see one. I don't think so. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> 